Angel City. A 10. A great time, a good thing. Peace out. That is superstar Adam Sandler, of course, making his debut at last year's Angel City Games. Celebrities are teaming up again this year for the annual festival. The wheelchair basketball games are always a big draw, and it's all coming up this weekend at UCLA. Founders Clayton French is here along with actor Kevin Sizemore, who's playing again this year. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Looks like a great event. Clayton, let's start with you. You founded sure. this several years ago. What what prompted this? So it was one of those sort of lightning bolt moments. Uh, my son, who's an adaptive athlete, he uh, has a prosthetic leg and a running blade now since he was four and he's okay. 12. Okay. Uh, but four years ago, we were on a, at a track and field competition in Oklahoma uh, for Paralympic and adaptive athletes. And it just sort of hit me like, why do I have to go to Tornado Alley? Uh, to do these sports, you know, run, jump, and throw mm -hmm. uh, things. And so that was sort of the beginning of a vision to create uh, a Paralympic competition for kids, adults, and veterans with physical disabilities right here in L.A. Mm -hmm. And it's grown over the years, just in the past three years, right? Absolutely, yeah. We've expanded uh, the sports, become created more competitions, and, uh, you know, just the number of athletes coming is, has grown. And, you know, we're also doing, I think, a better job of finding ways to uh, to make the broader community uh, connected to what we're doing. So the Celebrity Game is a great place for the broader community to see wheelchair basketball played right in front of them. Uh, and there's a bunch of other things going on over the weekend as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, Kevin, you played last year. Oh, yeah. Uh, people might know Kevin, of course, from a number of shows, including uh, Under the Dome, which was yeah. here on CBS. CBS. But right. you were a uh, participant last year. Why are you coming back this year? And why do you donate your time and get involved in this? Well, I got involved by Nick Lowry, the former kicker of the Kansas City Chiefs mm -hmm. last year. Uh, we're friends, and he introduced me to Clayton, and I didn't know until the very last minute I was going to be able to be a part of it, and when I did, uh, they threw me into the chair, and I had no <laughs> clue. I mean, I really didn't know what I was doing, and <laughs> I mean, I left with blisters, and it was the best blisters I've ever had in my life. It was so much fun. I mean, it was so much fun, because you see these athletes who are so fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're so good at what they do, and I'm trying to compete against them, and I can't. I mean, Trooper Johnson, I've, I've never, you see, you see Curry, uh, the Golden State Warriors come down and do a pivot. <laughs> That's what Trooper did to me. And I'm like, what was that? Yeah. And you, know, you see the guys come together and the girls and, and the athletes just, they become, it's like a little family for the day. Mm -hmm. But it's not just for the kids, though. What people are forgetting that this is for the entire family, from grandparents all the way down to the little youngsters, just to come and have fun and hang out and see some of their favorite celebrities. We have a great group of Rob Morrow, Donna Dierico is going to be there. Uh, we have a ton of ton of people that's going to be playing this year. And they can go to the website and follow us and just just show up and support because this what what Clayton's done has become not only become it's becoming huge. It's big now. It's going to be much bigger next year at UCLA, and it's really cool to be a part of it. I'm just I'm just ecstatic to be able to be asked. Yeah, and to be at such an amazing venue as the Wooden Center in UCLA. Yeah. I mean, you were saying having to go to Tornado Alley, but we have world-class athletic facilities right here. Right here. Absolutely, and I, I, I think about it, UCLA as one of the stars of our event. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, being able to come to UCLA to do a competition, especially when, uh, you know, these kids, these uh, different, you know, all ages can compete if you have a physical disability or a visual impairment. But, you know, there aren't that many opportunities to compete. And here we are opening the doors at UCLA. So we're really grateful to our, 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 our close partner, uh, UCLA, in, in all of this. So mm -hmm. yes, you're right. I mean, we're at the track. We're at Drake. We're at LA Tennis Center, right, for right. the tennis uh, events. We're in the Wooden Center for all the basketball. So it's, it's really pretty special. Right. These are where <laughs> Olympians go to school and train. That's and right. what better facility? And how great it is for you guys, CBS, letting us come on board to be able to promote it and tell people to please come out and, and just hang out and just uh, Watch some fun, well, watch some good wheelchair basketball by the wheelchair athletes and watch some mediocre, mediocre by you. <laughs> That's what it sounds Cause, like. Because we have some, like, we have guys from Longmire and Kirby Buckets and my son who was on the show in Nashville. Well, we have a lot, of, a lot of athletes that are just coming on board just to donate their time and, and play and walk away with some great blisters. <laughs> and memories. <laughs> memories. Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much. It sounds like a wonderful event. Thanks for coming on and Absolutely. sharing about it. Of course, this is the third annual Angel City Games. Again, there this weekend at UCLA. For more information about the games, just head to our website, kcal9.com, and make sure to click on C.